Lake Okanagan in British Columbia, Canada. Pure and natural, and the source of some of the world's premier aquarium fish nutrition in the form of mysis shrimp, which the Canadian Ministry of Environment introduced to the lake in 1966. The goal was to enhance the kokanee salmon fishery by providing a new food source. But the salmon didn't eat them, and now the mysis shrimp occur in unnaturally large numbers. Since the 60s, we've since found out that, that mysis um, actually compete with kokanee for their preferred uh, food source, which is the zooplankton. And uh, we're currently using the uh, mysis fishery as a tool for kokanee recovery. Pycene Energetics recognized the opportunity and using a patented method and a fleet of fishing vessels harvest the mysis from the lake during the warmest six months of the year, removing an invasive species and supplying public aquariums and hobbyists with a unique aquarium food. You know, I like to say they're little, you know, world-class Olympic swimmers who swim 25,000 times their body length every night to have a meal. They gorge themselves on this phytoplankton uh, and then they go back down to the bottom of the lake. It's really at sunset when the mice shrimp start to come off the bottom of the lake. They're at 600 feet deep and they start to come off the bottom of the lake as the sun is setting. So we typically want to have our nets in the water at around 8.30, 9 o'clock. At that point, we start to harvest the shrimp and we can start to see them come up on our conveyor belt. Each fishing boat tows a catch boat about 100 feet behind. Between them is a long tube attached to a net. The net funnels the shrimp into the tube, which opens in the bow of the catch boat. As the shrimp emerge into the catch boat, a conveyor belt carries them, still alive, to plastic bins. The mysis are immediately processed into either flat packs or blister packs and flash frozen, gut loaded with important zoo and phytoplankton still in their bellies. Our processing crew, they show up a couple hours after our fishing crew, virtually once the shrimp is being landed onto the catch vessels. Immediately, we shuttle the product back to our processing barge, which floats out in the middle of the lake and we start to flash freeze the mysis shrimp. We bring the mysis shrimp down to minus 40 degrees Fahrenheit in less than 20 minutes. This system enables us to really bioencapsulate and gather that phytoplankton in the mysis shrimp and not even give the mysis shrimp an opportunity to defecate or in essence purge your system of that phytoplankton which they've just eaten minutes ago. Curators at public aquariums say it's one of the best sources of nutrition for a variety of species in both fresh and salt water. That I'm, I'm dealing with animals that have never had prepared foods before. All of their food was from the wild and so when I bring them into our facility our collectors have, have gone to great lengths to, get, to bring me healthy specimens but then getting them converted to uh, prepared foods can be quite difficult and I find the mysis is one of the first things that they'll want to eat. Um, so with the, with the mysis, you know, even if it's an animal that wouldn't normally um, eat them, like a harlequin tusk fish, they usually eat lots of meaty foods, they'll slurp it up like popcorn, they absolutely adore it. Well, one of the, uh, the attractive qualities of the PE mysis is that it tends to have a, a palatable taste that, and also has to attract it, natural attractant to it because of the oils on the, fit, on the uh, product and that helps to elicit that feeding response in the fish. We just saw the hemicillin trispecular eating some pinky mysis shrimp. Why is it so important to be able to get that fish to feed and how difficult is that typically? It, they accept a wide variety of food but they really seem to enjoy the pinky mysis. These three that we have here are the only three at a public facility in North America. Meanwhile, the kokanee salmon stocks on Lake Okanagan are slowly rebounding good news for anglers, and Canada's First Nation peoples, whose heritage is built around the native salmon fishery.
Aquarists need not worry. Mysis shrimp populations suggest a strong supply for decades to come.